Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. And today is a follow-up video to the courtyard video that we made, uh, that we released last time. And what we're going to be talking about is actually ways to extend the courtyard stuff to, to fit other features that footprints might ask for you. Uh, what I mean is sometimes on data sheets, the vendors say, wait, hey, don't, don't allow anything below this. An example of this is a tag connect is a type of connector. Basically say, don't allow anything below this in, uh, in the you know, don't, don't put any other components below this thing. So let's take a look how to do this. We're not actually going to look at the tag connect, but we're going to be looking at the same thing that we did last time. So this is just a simple modification to it. What we can do basically is uh, what we did last time is we'd actually flip this part to the, to the bottom side. I'm going to flip it back up to the top side. So now this is on the top side, uh, whereas these two things were erroring before because the courtyards are overlapping. And it's kind of hard to see because uh, this one pin thing is actually just a through hole. Uh, these actually should no longer uh, error out. So let's take a, a look here. So now we have. If it sticks around, what happened there? That was weird. Um, OK, so now we're, we're on the top. Yep, good. We're going to hit Start DRC. Courtyards overlap. OK, I did not flip it, apparently. Let's hit F. Ah, I know why. OK, that makes sense. I turn off the front footprints. There we go. OK, so now this is on the front side. And these two things should not inter intersect anymore. OK, and just like the, the pink footprints here, these are all on the top side. They're not interacting with the green footprint below it. So let's take a look here to start DRC. And now the errors are all gone, because basically there's uh, something on the front and something in the back, and never the twain shall meet. Let's take a quick look at what that looks like. So here are the top side footprints, PD4, C401, and R401, and then the back side, PD401. And you see there is a footprint that comes through. There's a copper thing that comes through here, but uh, it's, that's actually OK, because it, it, the physical component would be on the top side there. OK, so what if we wanted to make sure that nothing Actually, so what if we want to make sure that this copper thing on the back side did not interfere with PD-401? So right, so so uh, PD PD-4 and PD-401, right? If they are on the same side, you don't want them to inter intersect, right? But now there's something. Maybe you're saying, I, we, I don't want anything near PD-401. So how do we go and do that? Well, we go back into the the same footprint thing here. So this is what we did. We went and added this courtyard. And what I'm going to do now is basically duplicate. I'm going to go and hit uh, click. Click the line here, graphic. I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to click. Now, what you can't see is well, I can, I guess, I can move it, but it created a duplicate of that line. So I'm going to do that four times. Click this line. You can see, like, when it highlights the ends, you can see little squares on the end, like the drag line, the drag marks. Hit Control D, place it. And again, if it's easier, if you have uh, a larger grid on, I think I'm on point, point 0.5 millimeters right now. Control D and click. And what it's doing is snapping me to where the line starts. So that's that's what we know there. OK, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mouse over and hit E. And you see now it actually shows that there's two lines here. So that's a good check. So we're going to select one of them. doesn't matter which one. And then we're going to switch this one to back courtyard. Same thing here. Should give me a selection criteria. OK. Hit E to, e to edit. Mouse over this one. E to edit. And the mouse over this last one, E to edit. Oh, that actually didn't give me a dialog. I don't think there's actually two lines here. Yeah, so that didn't actually create. So I'm going to hit Control D again. OK, now I know there's one there. E to edit. Oh, wow. Maybe there was a couple there. Jeez, what did I do? OK, let's delete a couple here. OK, we're back down to two. Hit E to edit. There we go, select. And then now we're on back courtyard. OK. All right, so now I'm going to hit the same thing. I'm going to say uh, insert into design, update footprint into current board. This is something because we didn't have a library set up for this one because this is an older board. OK, that should have updated it. Now, there's really no way to, you know, we can't verify this in the 3D view. But what we can do is we can go into here. Let's turn off footprints on the front. We can look at the footprint on the, on, the, on the back there, which is this PD-401. And what we can do now is basically turn off both layers and select them independently and say, hey, do these things exist? So, back, so now there is a back courtyard. Now this is, this is showing back courtyard because uh, it is on the back side now, but it should also have a front courtyard. There we go. So there we go. Now, now these are both showing here. So it has a front and a back, which is good. So now what I expect to see, and we'll talk about it before we, we actually do it, if I turn the footprints back on, so now this PD4 is on the front side, 
as is uh, R401, as is C401, I expect to see three errors because uh, PD401 has a back, of, you know, an, a courtyard on the back side of it saying, don't allow anything behind this component now. Okay, so let's go into DRC. We should see three new DRC errors. And we do. Courtyards overlap, courtyards overlap, courtyards overlap. So basically, what we've, what we've effectively created now, now there, I, I should note that sometimes in other CAD programs, they call these keepouts. And I, I personally like the, the term keepout. That's actually the, the term that we use here for if we wanted to make sure, hey, we could do an arbitrary, straight, um, an arbitrary shape for, you know, don't allow any traces through here, don't allow any copper through here. That's used a lot in other, uh, I use that a lot for like RF stuff that I'm doing. But this is actually saying, don't allow any components behind it. And so it's a slightly different verbiage in KiCad, but ultimately the same thing, saying we're, we're not going to let a pass DRC until we've moved components from behind this thing. So if you have a really critical component where you don't want anything behind it or on top of it or near it, this is how you, you go and do it. You basically put courtyards on the front and back side, and then KiCad will say, OK, we'll keep everything out of there. So this is just another little uh, improvement you can have your boards, especially as you get more and more constrained designs so that you, you, know, you say, I want to make sure that I keep components out of these certain areas. Courtyards are the way to do it, and adding it on both sides is kind of the little hack here that we showed. If you want to learn more about courtyards, you can go over to the forum. That's forum.kicad.info. You can ask questions about implementation and why is it a 0.5 millimeter line and lots of other pedantic questions like that that I love asking. Uh, and you know, it's a great community to discuss that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to talk more about electronics design in general, that's what we do at Contextual Electronics. It's a course where we have we show you how to build electronics. We show you how to you know the theory and the practice and put it all together. And finally, if you want to just talk about electronics without actually going through the courses, we have a free forum. That's forum.contextualelectronics.com. That's all for now. We'll have more videos about layout here on contextualelectronics.com. Thanks.